Gordon Chang told Fox News that Chinese military members, members of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, are in, covertly in the United States right now. Gentlemen, this is a uh, mind-blowing revelation, but it is in checking with what I've been reporting here. I told you back just a week or two ago how there had been 10,000 Chinese nationals almost apprehended. This is the ones they caught at the U.S. border coming in from Mexico that came in all the way through Colombia. Now, just to give you an idea that these guys are being guided into the country, way stations had been set up along the way, and these people are given TikTok, told what way station to go to and what to do all the way to the U.S. border. They got aid from uh, their entry point to the, the border. And once you get to the border, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we love you. It's right in. In they come. Guys, this is nuts. And so, furthermore, how do we know it's Chinese military? Well, according to Gordon Chang, uh, they were uh, actually doing Chinese military rituals. Now, these kind of rituals are kind of rituals that you'd see special forces doing. So I don't think these are just regular Chinese troops. I think these are highly trained Chinese special forces because this ritual is drinking chicken blood. And according to uh, Gordon Chang, this was actually eyewitnessed by a uh, war correspondent Michael Yan. Michael Yan, I witnessed these young Chinese men doing this in a hotel in Panama after they crossed the Darien Gap from Colombia. So they've been seeing, and there was apparently some other Chinese military rituals too, but that's the one that stuck out is this drinking of blood, chicken blood. They kill a chicken and drink the blood. And the, but they did this in a hotel, kind of nasty, right? But you know, that's the kind of thing special forces would do. This isn't what regular GI Joes would do uh, over there. I don't think, at least they don't here in America, you know, special forces here in America have special rituals. And so that's why I would be highly concerned if we've got uh, special forces come in the United States, these are highly trained operatives. And so the whole plan would be to attack us grid uh, or us infrastructure on the first day of any war between the United States and China, according to Gordon Chang, which fits exactly what I've been saying on here for some time, guys. So this is a confirmation, the kind of stuff I've already been talking about. There's no surprise in that. Uh, guys, this is uh, uh, something that uh, we got to pay attention to because I did this video on downs. I always talk about the power grid, but I did a video recently on downs. I'm going to show you that p p uh, video here in a little bit. And I'll show you also the video on the, uh, uh, Chinese nationals, so you can find them, and I'll put the links below. But guys, so much damage can be done to our infrastructure, it'd be mind-boggling. You got to realize, if they take out our uh, critical uh, high-voltage uh, high transformers in the United States, the ones that take 18 months to replace, it takes down the whole grid and can cause cascading failures. You take a few of these, you can take a lot more. But guys, there, how many how many special operators they have? That you know, the Iranians already told us they had twenty of these substations targeted, and only nine of which would take down our grid. So if they do enough damage, we're not getting our grid back. We don't even have the means to order grid components because all the money in the is digital and in the banks and uh, the ordering systems are all in the internet. Without power, you're not doing any of that. So we're, we're and believe it or not, our military bases are currently getting almost all their power, most of it from the civilian grid. Believe it or not, now they're starting to try to shore that up and with the plans to put these mini nukes at the military stations, but that's not been done yet. Now, I do know that Redstone Arsenal's got a trash burn right here in Huntsville, but they burn municipal trash to make power. It's kind of a recycling deal that's here local. But guys, this is a, um, and they actually put power out to the grid. Uh, so that's a, uh, uh, Redstone Arsenal's ahead uh, in many ways. So, but the thing is, the, um, uh, dams, if you took out dams, that you could do enormous infrastructure damage. I mean, uh, especially take out the ones upstream. And it would take out power grid, nuclear power plants. I've done this in the video. You have to watch that video to get the details on that. Uh, well, uh, well, the substations alone, it's estimated that in a year, nine out of 10 people would be dead from societal collapse, disease, and all the things that we're going to see, because you can't pump water, you can't pump fuel, uh, there'll be no spare parts for any of your vehicles, no medical supplies. The people that are on the medicines can't get the medicines. But the study that did that uh, failed to account for the fa fact that most of the farmer seeds won't be available either, nor will they be able to uh, plant. And uh, even most farmers these days don't grow their own gardens. I've done videos on that. So uh, at least enough to eat from. 
uh, to more than a few days. <laughs> so guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is serious. The nine out of 10 is probably optimistic. It's probably somewhere north of 95% would be gone in a year. So he's going to be left. If you got that uh, big transformer in your loading dock 18 months later, he's going to be left to unload it, take it, install it. We can't find people to work today. So guys, we are in a critical situation here. If I've said this many times on my channel, if we get into a war with China or Iran or Russia, it's not going to be like a war we've seen before. It's not going to be a war over there. It's going to be right here at home. And it's going to be devastating. Absolutely devastating. Get your preps together. Get ready. Go to, uh, uh, you know, plant seeds. Go to my links to uh, True Leaf Market and check that out and get your seeds in order, my friends. Or Eden Brothers. I'm going to show you a couple of things here real quick. I'm going to do a share. I'm going to share these videos. Share screen. Bing, bing. Truly market got all kind of good seeds. Check them out below. Use my links to order, please. This is the uh, article in Fox News. Scroll up. Yeah, no kidding, guys. All right, here's the videos I want y'all to see. I want you to see this one. Thousands of Chinese and Russians crossing our border and other nationalities. We know Iranians, we've already been told by the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, they got 20 sleeper cells here in America that are targeting our power grid. So uh, they're coming down here and watch this damn dangerous. This video will blow your mind, guys. This video will blow your mind what can be done if they blow the dams. So I will put links below for these two videos. Uh, you might want to check this one if you haven't already seen it. I'm going to do a follow on to that one real soon. Yeah, I was talking about what will the, what would the U.S. military do against U.S. citizens? Uh, yeah, so that's coming soon. Anyway, my friends, uh, well, that I'm gonna say, if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, bang the notification bell, and click all, and check back to make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing a lot of my people and un, un, unnotifying them. I've had one uh, one of my followers tell me he had been unsubscribed three times. Well, he resubscribed, but then he get unsubscribed again. So check, make sure you're still unsubscribed and check my channel periodically, maybe daily these days to see if you've seen my latest videos because we're bad about not sending out notifications. And please share these videos. The whole point is to get people aware they need to prepare. And that's really good for your family members. The more people that are prepared, the less people is going to come looking to eat you when it gets tough. So the more people we got getting ready, the better off we all are. Thank you for watching. Greg